Shalom everyone, Baruch Hashem. While the waves of the ocean of our lives are not uh, stopping from uh, from revealing the treasure power that is treasured within them, the enormous power of the ocean, the ocean of the souls, the sea of souls, the light of Hashem, we must learn how to deal with those waves. So there's an amazing story about Rabbi Akiva that once the boat that he was sailing, the ship that he was sailing at was uh, drowned in the middle of the sea. And he was the only survivor that came back to shore. And people asked him, how did you survive? So he said, I bent my head down to every any wave that came. He was humbling himself to the waves. He surrendered himself to the supervision of the Creator. In our lives, the challenges and the tests that are coming are coming only to check the level of our, our humility, how humble we are. They're only coming to check us if we are arrogant, proud of ourselves for no good reasons, in a false way, in a vain way, sick with vanity, or that we are humble and we understand that we are here in a spiritual mission that brings us to the purpose, that the purpose is to be under Hashem, to crown Hashem on our heads, to let Him run the world and to know that He is our Maker and Creator. When a person is humbling himself like that to the challenges of life by being honest, being truthful, <clears throat> by being nice, kind, patience, by that he's passing those waves, those challenges, and they don't break him, they don't make him crash. So I suggest everyone to breathe, to learn how to take air inside and to relax and to humble ourselves in front of our life situation. And when you do so, you surrender yourself to the supervision of our Maker. By that you live eternal life in this temporary world. The light is shining from the highest highest peaks of them all to the top from the top down to the bottom and when it hits the ground it goes back up it's like kind of a returning light like a like a reflection like a flashback and the light that comes down from the creator is a simple light and that light is going through the letters of the torah and because the, the Torah is spiritual, so the letters are clear. They're like the crystal clear um, prism that light shines through it and breaks it to the sides and creates new reflections of new colors. And when it hits one layer of letters of the Torah and goes down to the next layer, and from the next to the third and fourth and fifth. And you have billions of layers of Torah portions that are reflecting the light, channeling the light through them in different shapes of different letters, in different angles because of different situations that goes on in those verses and conditions of creation, deep secrets that are very hard to describe and explain. The light that is coming through all those layers is hitting the ground the end, the physicality, the world of actions, our world, the world that our awareness is stuck into. And when it hits the ground, so like a reflection, like a mirror, it bounces and jumps back up. And then we feel our power to choose freely, to want, to desire, to argue, to fight, or to surrender ourselves to the supervision and to follow Hashem. When we are surrendering ourselves and nullifying ourselves to Hashem, to the light of Hashem, so then the light rises back up.
through our actions, through our thoughts and words. But when we are refusing and we're denying the existence of a maker and we're not humbling ourselves through faith to our life situations, by that we're blocking the light from going back up to its source. And then the husks, the coverings that we created by being stubborn, by being upset and angry and refusing to cooperate with the illuminating supervision of our maker by forcing it not to go back up straight up we god forbid stuck stucking this light into the husks under the coverings of physicality and by that we give power to those husks to show themselves and present themselves as if they have life of their own but in reality, they don't have life of their own. And they are receiving their life from our mistakes. And we just need to make sure to make as less mistakes as we can. So just to humble ourselves as much as we are able to in any life situation to the truth. Through using our good attributes. Things that we know that Hashem wants us to do, to do. Things that we know that Hashem does not want us to do not to do and to stay happy and to reunite ourselves with great bondings of love honor mutual respect to all our siblings around the world and to the whole creation may the light of hashem shine upon us all together to be one to be united shema israel adonai eloheno adonai echad baruch shem kibod malchuto leolam vayed